Today is the last Sunday in year 2020. You are here live and direct to show God that God, you are wonderful. You are faithful. You are powerful. Upon what? What's happened in year 2020? I'm still standing. I'm here to return all glory back to you. Come on, let me hear you shout in thunders, hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, hello. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Year 2020 came in. January passed. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We are in December. Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We have seen, seen the feet tree of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. We have seen, seen. The faith of Jesus, glory be to God, amen. Oh, when I look at my life, I see Satan has fallen. When I look at my life, I see Satan has fallen. When I look at my body, I see Satan has fallen. When I look at my front, I see Satan Oh, I have seen, 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 the face of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen, the face of Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Truly, a lot of rain fell, grass swallowed them. Father, where we are, Jehovah, what shall we say unto the Lord? All I have to say, say. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We came here to return all glory back to you for what you have done so far. Jehovah God of them, we cannot count the numbers of miracles you have done in our life and our families. You see, for Johnny Messies, all the time, all the moment, sound security, your protection, your provision, your guidance, your love, fighting our battle for us, even while we are sleeping. You are wonderful, Jehovah God of heaven. You are wonderful, Jehovah God of heaven. We say thank you. Thank you. In billions time, we say thank you. Uncountable numbers, we say thank you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Visit us afresh. As you are dancing today, rejoicing, praising you. Even in year 2021. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. Let your blessing continue to overflow us. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Powerful, amen. A loud and clear, amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Please have your seat. We have a very few minutes without before or before we continue our praises unto the Lord because we came here to return our glory back to God. The one who see us through through year 2020. Because we have survived it. If you know you have survived, you say amen loud and clear. Amen. And I know as you are returning glory back to God, your blessing will overflow. Amen. Okay, tell your neighbor my blessing will overflow. My blessing will overflow. Loud and clear. My blessing. Tell your neighbor left and right my blessing will overflow. My blessing will overflow. And let your hallelujah now supersede your neighbor if you truly you mean it. <laughs> Yesterday, I was with you in your Let's Go and Fishing Center. And we're up mind together to the glory of God. Today we are here again to praise God together, to dance together. Please don't be shy at all to dance before the most high. After all, you learned that lesson from the senior pastor. Because I know he's a dancer. And that's why the anointing also flow to the church. I want to salute Champions family, you are wonderful people, excellent people, royal priesthood, God's own people. Let me give you one nickname now, current and correct people. If you agree with me, say amen loud and clear. Amen. Now make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on, shout hallelujah. I want to appreciate God in the pastorate, in the, the senior pastor, and his wife, Pastor Ima, and all the ministers of God working alongside of him. The most high God that call you will sustain. None of you will fail. You will not fall. You will not stumble. It shall be well with you. 
And when we are talking about uh, excellent choir, I salute the choristers, the band. Please don't pretend I appreciate them. Don't pretend. Put your hands together for the blood. I appreciate them. It's not easy to practice a song. It's not easy at all. And when you see someone playing in the keyboard, in four fingers, you can differentiate the tone, and you need to appreciate them. You see the drummer playing with all the head and banner, everything, and all the instrumental, and the choir, we can you know, differentiate the tone. Treble tone, auto tone, tenor tone, bass tone, soprano tone, and they can sing according to the beats. Whether semi demi quaver or crochet or iridium, please come up, appreciate this group of people. Come on, shout hallelujah. The most I go that set you up for his glory will not leave you alone. You will fly higher. Your anointing will never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. I salute you one more time, the congregation, you are wonderful people. Current and correct people. Tell your neighbor, are you really current? Answer him or her, say, yes, I'm correct. Correct people always remember the faithfulness of God. Correct people always remember the faithfulness of God upon their lives. They remember the most I God. You know, when you try to erase someone who raised you, there's no way you cannot crush, crush. But when you acknowledge the one who made people to honor you, you don't dishonor him by coming to his presence to worship him, definitely he will lift you high. That's why you need to know the faithfulness of God all the time. Remember to appreciate him. The moment you wake up, sing unto him. Bless his holy name. He's a wonderful father. There's no one you appreciate, you thank that we not think of giving you another miracle and other things. Learn to appreciate God. In Psalm 89, 89, Psalm 89, when you begin to study from verse 1 to 8, you discover some things there. The psalm list started with singing. And we sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth, with my mouth, with my mouth. Glory be to God. When you always remember the faithfulness of God. Ah. <laughs> you will see God in action. 
I want to encourage all of you. Get one instrument to praise God in your home. Either tambourine or shekere or flute. Obey the word. What the word said in Psalm 71. Psalm 71. When you see verse 22 there. Psalm 21. Psalm 71. 71 verse 22. Say also with the flute. I will praise you. And your faithfulness, oh my God, to you I will sing with hearts, oh holy one of Israel. Get an instrument. Failure, praising the most high God, it means you have pride in your life. Let me tell you one more secret of our senior pastor that I got to know. And that secret, I would like you to shake it in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4. Proverbs 22, verse 4. That is one of the secrets I discovered from the senior pastor. Pastor Emma here. There are two secrets there. He said, by humility and the fear of the law are what? Riches, honor. And when you see the life of the man, you know he's so humble. It takes the grace of God for someone in that position now to humble to the most high God. Because anytime you see him praising God, worshiping the Lord, he doesn't care. At the song I taught you yesterday. He doesn't care whether somebody is looking at him or not. And he feared the Lord. When you fear the Lord, all other things, you know you are nothing. We are just a sand that God honor and mold you and decorate you and you are living being. Who are you? Who am I? Not to recognize our maker. That's why the moment you understand his faithfulness, nobody will tell you to praise him. Because he always remember you and remember your family. You are not only the one moving around. That his faithfulness is yea and amen. When you check Psalm 98, verse 3, Psalm 98, verse 3. Say, he has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of order today. Am I communicating? Yes. That's why I read the Bible. I fix my name to claim the blessing. Suppose he has not remembered his mercy over you and I. We can't be here. It's because he remember us. That's why he opened our fire this morning and we wake up. And all the mechanisms in our body begin to function very well. Then you can go to the toilet, you can clothe yourself, you can voice out, you people can know, you can still recognize you. <laughs> Even your brain boss is function very well. Your memory is function very well. Some people are still living, but they cannot remember anything because the brain boss has a problem. You need to think very well. Everything you have, can't you use it to honor the most high God? We have given you power to make words. If power is not released upon you, you have just been there. Learn how to worship the most high. Learn how to surrender totally, completely to him. Learn how to appreciate all what he has done in your life. Because there are many of us we don't appreciate him. That's why we don't get results. When you fail to appreciate God, your condition will be there permanently without changing. 
Because you will not see the mystery in singing, mystery in praising God. Then he says something in Mark chapter 4. When you study Mark chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. Mark chapter 4. And he said to them, to you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to those who are outside, all things come in parable. So that sin, they may not sin and, and not perceive. And hearing, they may not, they may hear and not understand. There are many people out there, they don't understand the mystery of praise. When you are praising God, uh -uh, you compare the host of heaven to pay attention. Prayers, when you are praying to God, God sends an angel. But when you are praising God, God shows face by himself. Learn how to praise him. Learn how to worship him. Then you will see him in action. Then he turns things around. Things change. Conditions change. Things that people say is permanent, they say no. I will turn it around. And he has done it in the life of many people. Some people think you succeeded by age. No. You succeed according to the level you honor the most high God. The level you use to recognize him make you succeed. Because and when you recognize the most high God, things turn around. Things change. And you become a new man. Please, as from now till we enter year 2021, begin to praise God unusually. And when you are praising him, dance alone in your bedroom. Roll before him. He knows everything. Even in the congregation, don't care who is ever looking at you. As it's not I taught you yesterday during this in the center. I don't care. It's my God. I don't care what anybody may say. I will praise him. I will thank him. I will honor him. I will love him. I will worship him. The moment you are doing that. It look upon you. And things change. Are you ready to praise God today? In fact, I want you to stand to your feet. Pick a song from your own dialect. In your own dialect. Either in Shekri or Yorubo or Yibo or Yoruba. In any way, just use that one to God. I am here. Single out my voice. I'm I'm pressing you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm pressing you. I can survive 2020. Upon all what I